Everybody loves playing with magnets and we have a north and a south end. In actual fact, it's the north point on a compass pointing to the south end of a magnet. And in actual fact, that around the Earth's magnetic field, which is caused by the molten iron core, this allows charged particles from the sun to be deflected. Now, if we didn't have the magnetic field, there'd be a lot more of this really kind of energetic cosmic radiation landing on us, and that would affect the way that, um, as humans, we would have evolved. So, um, we've got permanent magnets, they stay magnetic, as opposed to electromagnets, which we can turn on and off. And what we can do is we can show this field by drawing field lines to show what's actually happening around the magnet. And they always go from north, and we put an arrow to show they point to south. So I've tried to draw this um, with sort of um, this side being similar to this side. And when you've got the field lines closer together, that's where that magnet is strongest. But we also have a uniform field that we represent with uh, equally spaced lines. And that's really important when it comes to looking at things like the motor effect and the generator effect. Um, We've then got things like a solenoid, which is just a coil of wire uh, that can actually carry a current. And around the solenoid, we have a very similar to shape to that we saw on the previous page, where we actually look at the, the shape of the field lines around a permanent magnet. Um, and I guess what we can do with these electromagnets is we can put in an iron core to increase the strength of the magnetic field. And that's useful later on when we start to look at transformers. Now, the last part, I just did this freehand, but if you've got the ability, use your compass, use a pencil to draw some concentric circles, that the ones around a wire get further apart. And this kind of cross shape shows that the current is moving away from you. And to work at the direction I put these arrows on, I use my right hand, I put my thumb pointing in the direction of the current into the paper, and that means we have these clockwise field lines. And around the earth, what we have is again the same shape that we'd have around a bar magnet, but this time they're going from the south pole of the Earth up to the north pole, because what we have at the top of the world is the south pole of a magnet. That's actually at the north pole of the Earth. And again, these are just quick sketches. And I also showed that this one here is, rather than being completely vertical, it's slightly to the side, because the north, the magnetic north pole, is in a slightly different place to the geographic North Pole.